This shit is ridiculous. I mean, shoot. I know I don't got no daughter, but do I gotta worry about raising my black girls too? Say her name. I'm Love Nafi, and you're watching Diaspora Diary. According to BBC and NPR News, a woman in a U.S. state of Kentucky was shot and killed by police after they raided the wrong address. Brianna Taylor, a 26-year-old emergency medical technician, was shot eight times when officers entered her apartment in Louisville on the 13th of March. They were executing a search warrant as part of a drugs investigation, but no drugs were found on the property. They were looking for an unrelated suspect who was already in custody and did not live in the apartment complex. At a press conference on the 13th of March, the department said its officers knocked on the door several times and announced themselves as police. Ms. Taylor's partner said he fired in self-defense because the officers did not identify themselves and he believed they were breaking in. The officer that was injured was shot in the leg and is now recovering. The lawsuit by Breonna Taylor's family accuses the officers of wrongful death and excessive force. The lawsuit also alleges that the police fired more than 20 rounds of ammunition into the home. No one has been charged in Taylor's death. There is no footage of the incident. Police say that officers in this unit don't wear body cameras. They were placed on administrative reassignment while under investigation. Walker was charged with attempted murder of a police officer and assault in the first degree. In late March, Walker was released to home incarceration. Where is the justice for Breonna Taylor's death? Dear Diary, do I matter as a black woman? Do my words matter? Why is there just a lawsuit? There has to be more than just a police investigation. Am I invisible? Here's a list of some of the black women who have died by police violence. Charlena Lyles, Sandra Bland, Shukri Ali, Deborah Danner, Rakia Boyd, Miriam Carey, Pamela Turner, Shelly Frey, Yvette Smith, Ayana Stanley Jones, and most recently, Brianna Taylor. I know black people are tired but we had to remain vigilant and continue to make noise. Hopefully, after the police finish conducting their investigation, it can be passed on to the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office so that charges can be made. I mean, just last week, I did a video on what can we do to raise our black boys on dealing with the police. It talked about Ahmaud Arbery, among other men who have been killed in the past years because of police violence. And now today, as we discuss some black women whose lives have been lost, we bring up some similar themes. I know a lot of people are wondering, what can we do? Well, according to the African American Policy Forum, if you need something to do to get involved, you can think about researching the stories and sharing them online, organizing a Know Your Rights training, calling your local police department and asking them if they have policies in place, you can also write, call, or email the U.S. Department of Justice Community Oriented Policing Department and urge them to fully adopt and implement progressive policy. We must get others to understand that we are not invisible. Well guys, it's been great, another episode. Thanks so much for watching. Um, as you all know, my name is Love Nafi. You can find me on all social media outlets at love underscore Nafi. Remember that videos are gonna be on my channel every one or two weeks. I'm trying my best, my hardest to make it every one week. Um, but just stay tuned, definitely no more than two weeks you'll be getting some content from me. And always remember that we block together Please leave your comments, questions, suggestions in the comment box below. I love you. I thank you. Bye-bye.